This is the 2015 Audi A3. The Audi A3 is all new in the sedan format. If you remember the old Audi A3, it came as like a hatchback, they called it a sportback. Now the A3 introduces a whole new family of vehicles into the Audi lineup. So, it starts with the A3 with either a 1.8T four-cylinder motor or a 2.0T four-cylinder motor that has quattro all-wheel drive. Then there's an A3 TDI, which is the clean diesel. Also, an A3 convertible will be coming to us, as well as an A3 Sportback, the hatch, with the e-tron system. That'll be a plug-in electric hybrid. So, let's take a look around this thing and give you a little sneak preview of what's to come. The 2015 Audi A3 comes in two different engine options, either a 1.8 turbo, which makes 170 horsepower, or a 2.0 turbo, which makes 220 horsepower. Now, both engines are married to the Audi S-Tronic direct shift gearbox, and the 2.0T comes with the Quattro all-wheel drive system. The 1.8 is a front-wheel drive. Base pricing on the 1.8T Audi A3 is $2,900. If you add the 2.0T motor and get the extra horsepower and the Quattro system, you will add a little bit of money. It's $32,900 to start, uh, but still an amazing value for something that has just as much technology available as the Audi A8, which is the flagship sedan in our lineup. So let's jump inside and take a look at a couple of things. The Audi A3 now includes the option for the Audi Connect system, which is the online integration. Now, Audi Connect is totally different in the A3 than it is on the other models because it's the first to come with 4G LTE speeds, which means you can browse the internet at like cable modem speeds. So inside the car, it distributes a Wi-Fi hotspot signal so that your passengers can actually be on their devices while you're driving. Also, all of the online connectivity features have been plugged into the navigation system, which rises out of the dash on this new display, which is ultra thin and super cool. Inside here, you'll find Google Weather, you'll find Google Maps, you'll find Google Earth, you'll find all of those kind of rich media things that you can't find in a traditional navigation system. Because this is connected to the internet, you have access to everything. So, reviews, uh, the ability to find like a, a restaurant by its name instead of by its address. Uh, totally functional, totally useful, right at your fingertips. Now, speaking of your fingertips, the Audi system has uh, kind of been modified a little bit here. Uh, the traditional name for it is MMI, and it stands for Multimedia Interface. So while the idea has really stayed the same, uh, the toggles and buttons have really kind of changed a little bit. Come and take a closer look, and you'll see what I mean. So for the A3, since it's a little more compact, Audi has had to kind of tinker with the MMI system. Now, the nav, telephone, radio, and media hard buttons are actually toggles. Uh, so you either click up or down to select any of the different menu items. The soft buttons still are the same. They surround the selection wheel, uh, and they do change based on what's on the screen uh, in the corners. So it's kind of like sub-menu options. The wheel has obviously grown in size, and it is the same, push to click. Um, however, they've added the MMI touchpad on top of it, so you can actually draw things like, uh, you know, letters or scroll around in the navigation system and zoom, you know, and pan the map uh, using your finger the same way you would on like an Audi A6 or an Audi A8, which is a much, much more expensive vehicle. The menu is actually carousel based, so as you see on the screen, all of the icons uh, are lined up to the position of the selection knob, and all you have to do is push to click. Again, everything on the Audi MMI system is color-coded, so car functions are red, telephone is green, anything navigation-related or online-related is blue, and all of the audio systems are orange. So it's really easy to see, just at a glance, exactly where you are. So let's talk about entertainment for a second. The system comes with Sirius XM satellite radio, but if you want to connect an iPod, uh, there's an Audi music interface connector when you have the Premium Plus or above trim. There's also a convenient USB charging cord in here, which I think is really great. And in the glove box, you'll find your CD player and SD cards where you can add music on like a, a storage device. This is also where you pop in the SIM card uh, that actually connects the A3 to the internet. The SIM card comes with a standard six month subscription for free. 
then it's kind of a pay-as-you-go sort of thing. So you try it out. If you love it, great. If you don't, you can cancel the subscription anytime. Some other advanced technology features which I'm really excited about on the A3 actually come from the Audi A6 and the Audi A8, those big expensive sedans. Advanced cruise control with stop and go is one of my favorites. So you set the cruise control at let's say 65 miles an hour. If a car gets in front of you and slows down, the A3 slows down to match. Now when that car clears out of the way, it picks up and goes back up to 65. It'll even bring you down to a stop and then pick you up and go again. So imagine if you commute a lot. Let's say you're going from here to LA and it's just gridlock accordion traffic. You basically set the car and let it be like on autopilot, so to speak, and it will actually, you know, stop and go for you. Also very cool is the Audi Lane Assist, which means that the A3 will actually keep itself in the lane, like by ever so gently correcting the steering, if you're kind of not paying attention and veering off and drifting off out of your lane. Lastly, one of my favorite safety features, uh, technology related, is the Audi PreSense front system. So, it's monitoring what's going on in front of you. And if a vehicle like slows down and stops and it, you know, a collision is imminent, what'll happen is the Audi A3 will obviously warn you as much as it can. And if you're just not paying attention or asleep or you know, texting a friend or something like that, it will bring it down to a stop or bring it down to a, you know, the slowest it can uh, to mitigate all of the, the collision damage. The ergonomics of the A3 are really well laid out. I love how the MMI panel is located right here, right where your elbow kind of like bends into the console, which is perfect. Now the cup holders have actually moved forward into this nook up here, uh, which keeps them from getting in the way of the controls because this is a driver oriented car. So the dash is completely simplistic but elegant and very very clean looking. Uh, I love the new kind of point and shoot uh, AC uh, controls which you can turn on and off. Let's take a walk around the new A3. As you can see the design is very sporty, very angular and athletic but not like overly edgy. The headlights look like they came straight off of the A6, the mirrors look like they came straight off of the Audi R8, uh, and as you can see, this is a car that does not have the Audi S-Line package. The S-Line package is gonna make it even more sporty. So, one thing I love is the gigantic sunroof on the top, which is obviously a giant glass pane. Now, there is a roller that closes uh, that keeps kind of the, the sunlight filtered out so it doesn't get too hot like a big greenhouse or something like that. Take a look around the back. Uh, it has got some very, very sharp tail lights, uh, which I totally appreciate. And as you can see, the trunk is actually quite large inside. And with the cold weather package, includes a ski pass through. So, when you're headed up to the mountains, you can still seat four passengers in the car and stick your skis all the way through. So obviously the A3 is a little bit smaller than the Audi A4, but there's definitely still room inside for your friends. Check it out. So I'm about five foot eight. It gives me plenty of headroom space and plenty of legroom space, especially with these cutouts here in the backs of the seats in front of me. The Audi A3 also includes plenty of space for a car seat. And if you have a child seat installed here, you can use these latch tethers uh, and really secure those seats into the back bench. So I hope you enjoyed our tiny preview of the Audi A3. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will have a full review as soon as we have more A3s to play with. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment on our YouTube videos because we do check those often uh, and we do make sure that we can respond. So until next time, thanks very much for watching.